Welcome to a screencast on the Space Game. The Space Game is uh, a crowdsourcing experiment from the Advanced Concepts team of the European Space Agency whereby users, which that would be you, will play the game uh, to reach Jupiter, in this case, in a sequence of flybys and trajectory legs in the shorter possible uh, time and fuel consumption. While you play the game, data will be sent back to the European Space Agency to help scientists learn how humans design interplanetary trajectory thus improving algorithms to do so. So let's see how the game works really. Uh, you start by signing up here so you press sign up then you put your email address password, confirm password and the name and your last name. This is important because your first name and last name will appear in the rankings of this crowdsourcing experiment. I will not do so as I already have an account therefore I go to login I will put here my email address and the associated password so now I am logged in as you can see here in top right uh, you don't really need to log in you can still play the space game if you're not logged in as it, uh, it is explained in the rules but then you would not be able to send your solutions to uh, to the European Space Agency. So now I, I am logged in and I press play. Uh, there there will be a, a select mission uh, type of uh, um, window whereas where I have to select what type of interplanetary trajectory mission I want to uh, I want to uh, design and for in the case of this World Space Week competition I will select the World Space Week competition one. Uh, here I have some information on the um, on the on the problem that I am about to, to, to solve. This is the objective, in this case is uh, with a fi fixed fly by sequence to get to Jupiter and uh, some more information. Once I press start the game has started. What I see now it's the um, view of the planet orbit and uh, of the trajectory of the spacecraft as defined randomly because the game has just started. If I'm not happy with the, this solution I can of course move in and uh, zoom in and out the uh, the trajectories. If I am not happy with this solution, how it looks like, by pressing randomize, I will produce random trajectory. You can see that here, top right of the screen, I have objective total delta v. This is the number that I need to make small. The smaller the number, the better. Uh, this number is the um, associated to the fuel consumption, to the propellant consumption on board of the spacecraft. So how do I actually play the game? So I can either press randomize up to when I get a small number on top right. This is not a very successful strategy, it would be called Monte Carlo type of approach. Or I can just press randomize up to when I am happy and then when I am happy with for some reason I can start moving the planet. So if you see if I hover with the mouse on Jupiter, I can click and move Jupiter along its orbit and uh, while doing so all the values of the delta V so the one on top right which is the total delta V but also the one of Jupiter which is shown when I hover on the planet they will be updated in real time. So now I'm gonna try to make this 10 kilometers a second small it's gonna go to 9, this is good, 8 is good, 8 is good, now it's going up to 9, so I think I will stop around 8.6. Then I'm gonna start adjusting the position of Mars, and while doing so, as you see, that the orbit gets updated. Uh, this is Venus, whoops, it's very small, it gets tricky, so what I do is I will zoom in to gain a finer control on the position of the Earth, not Venus, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I can move that around the planet as well. And I can do so uh, up to when I actually reach a satisfactory condition for the orbit. So you see now I'm moving the Earth, I'm starting with 31 kilometers a second, that's very high to go to Venus, so I will try to, to make it shorter and uh, to, to find a good phasing between the planets up to when I am happy with it and then I will um, I will stop and uh, go to the next planet. There are a number of strategies I could adopt to actually optimize these type of missions, but it's really up to the user to to learn how this how this works. So I'm uh, still very high in terms of delta v, as you can see in the right top right corner. I am moving the planet along multiple revolution. Now I've reached something like 51. 51 is a very high number. I'm not going to show in this screencast how to get small numbers. That would be around uh, 10, 15. 
I just want you to learn how to play the game. Then I can zoom out and see all the trajectory from the uh, from another point of view. Can start moving again. Jupiter, ooh, it's going down now. It's 43. Should I be happy with it? When I am actually happy with it, I can in fact submit my solution to ESA by clicking a button here, and here I will. Uh, been shown a dialog uh, uh, box with my current su uh, submission record and my new submission record so this is not much better therefore I will not submit it while playing the game I may also press load and save by pressing save I will save, save my current point into one of the 10 slots I have assigned and then I can recover at a second time after the save has been successful I can I can load again the this trajectory at a second time by selecting it here in the corresponding dialog box and I will start from this trajectory the next time to optimize as you see the game is fairly simple and the uh, uh, the amount of time you need to come up with solution it's uh, uh, it's fairly large if you're not expert and the more you learn the more the, the better the number will eventually get uh, a few advanced tricks which are also explained in the uh, in the how to play uh, page is that I can actually select in these ops. I'm sorry, I lost the zoom by pressing the the wrong uh, uh, button on my uh, mouse. So I was saying, once the trajectories are drawn, I can actually hover on the legs, trajectory legs, and when I'm on top of the arrow, I can select a leg. When I select the leg, I see here some detailed information on the leg. This would be the leg is starting from Venus and it's ending to Venus. The time of flight between the two planets, the starting and arrival planets on this leg is 1086 days. I am going from Venus to, to Venus on an orbit performing zero revolutions. Now, what is this? This is the number of revolutions I'm going uh, through the orbit. So I start from Venus here, I the spacecraft will go to the aphelion here, then will start to come back and then eventually will reach Venus here on the 14th of August 2024. Should I want to find other solution, here I see that I have actually nine solutions in this case and I can select other solutions. In this case I have one revolution which means I will start Venus here. Do You see that the positions of the planets have not changed so I start to, to Venus here, go to the aphelion, then here I'm not meeting Venus because it's not there. I have to do one more round and when eventually I will get at this position Venus will be there because it's again 14th of August 2024 and Venus is exactly in that position. These are called multiple revolution solution to the Lambert problem and uh, they might be very useful to solve uh, a phasing problem between planets. So in this case I have actually improved my numbers and I have a total, total delta V of 34.69 kilometers a second which still is fairly large <laughs> and um, I will have to work more on this trajectory to uh, to decrease it. Thanks for listening. Have fun and try to beat the best trajectories. Goodbye.